Okay. Conditional statements, a statement that can be written in if then form. Okay. Symbolic form is P then Q. So we, we say this is if P then Q. A little arrow there. P, okay, and so that brings us to this next part. Okay. P is the hypothesis and that's where we use the P is the phrase immediately following the word if. Okay, and the conclusion is the Q and that immediately follows the word then. Okay, so the if part is the hypothesis, the then part is the conclusion. Alright, so if you live in Nashville, then you live in Tennessee. What's my hypothesis? You live in Nashville. I'm also going to warn you this section is called a lot of writing. So stretch out your hand, get your writer's cramp out. And hey, what's my conclusion? You live in Tennessee. Alright, so number two is if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degrees, then they are complementary angles. What's my hypothesis? Yep, leave out the if because it's everything after the if. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, we negate it. We add not. So if it is not Saturday, then now this one already has no school. So what would I change it to? There is school. Then there is Cool. All right, so it's asking for a true value. So is this true or false? This is false. Give me a counterexample. Well, just give me just give me an example of it says if it's not Saturday, then there's school. What other day is can it is it where there's no school? Monday. Okay, so the converse says what? It flips the, the if and the then, yep, so the hypothesis and the conclusion. So now we're going if there's no school, then it is Saturday. True or false? Also get why? Monday. I know. I made the key yesterday and I was even complaining in the office. My hand hurt. Right? And then the contrapositive, we take the converse and we negate it. If there is school, then it is not Saturday. True or false? True. Now, we're in school. It's not Saturday. I hope we don't have to ever have Saturday school. That would suck. And yeah, still. It just throws everything in the... Alright, let's skip this one because I don't like it. Let's do this one. If the temperature is 25 degrees Fahrenheit, then it is below freezing. So the inverse is what? Yep. If the temp is not 25 degrees, then it's not cool freezing. True or false? False. False. Do I have another temperature it can be if it's below freezing? Yeah, it could be 30 degrees, it could be Two degrees, it could be negative forty degrees. Okay, what's my converse? If it's below freezing, then the temp. 25 degrees. True or false? False again. <laughs> Negative 40 degrees would work. Am I much positive? If it is not below freezing, then and the temp is not 25 degrees. True or false? True. Okay, if it's not below freezing, then it's definitely not going to be 25 degrees. Okay, so is it super horrible to do? No, it's just a lot of writing. You would think that you were in English class. 